The notion that science standards should include a progression of science content and science practices is not necessarily a new idea for many educators. However, we have noticed that participants in NGSS trainings often ask the question, why are the cross-cutting concepts on an equal footing with the practices and the disciplinary core ideas? Or rather, why are the cross-cutting concepts important for students? The seven cross-cutting concepts, or CCCs, are important because students can use them as a conceptual framework to organize new ideas and draw connections between different content areas and practices. So, before you dive into any hands-on activities about the CCCs, we recommend providing some background information about why they are important. On this website, you will find a PowerPoint that includes a brief introduction to the cross-cutting concepts. In it, there is a story about a series of cognitive psychology studies that looked at how chess experts and chess novices differed in the way they organized their ideas about chess. This research revealed some very clear differences in the type of thinking that experts and novices use. The same differences in expert and novice thinking have also been documented in other fields, such as computer programming and physics. The reason why this story about chess is relevant to the discussion of the cross-cutting concepts is because it gives some rationale for the key differences between expert and novice thinking, and it contributes to the argument for the value of the cross-cutting concepts. In our training of others on the NGSS, we have found that when participants learn a little more about the reasoning behind the cross-cutting concepts, they are much more excited to use them alongside the other dimensions of the NGSS. We have found that many educators would agree that one of the goals of science education is to help students to think a little bit more like experts. The NGSS aims for students to shift away from memorizing science facts and formulas and towards an understanding that usable knowledge is more like a framework of big ideas. This is one of the goals that the Cross-Cutting Concepts aims to accomplish. So be sure to check out our PowerPoint, as well as our hands-on activities about the CCCs. These activities provide an opportunity to dive deeper into this dimension and build an understanding of their role as a framework for guiding student thinking.